right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. A very busy year 2015 has been. I think we're already up to wine number 400 halfway through the month of February. And uh, this is one of our friends from Vine Connections and uh, Silvana, which uh, she brought in a nice selection of wines from Argentina. Uh, some Torrentes, not my favorite grape varietal, but uh, everything else here really outstanding. This is not bad for a Torrentes. Hey, it's from Salta, which this Domingo Molina Hermanos Torrentes, a three-brother joint venture. This one has that pretty floral bouquet you get from Torrentes, right? Peaches, orange blossoms, honey, and uh, really fresh and lively. Something you get from Torrentes grown in Salta, very, very high elevations. So you get that lovely perfume, floral note. You get the fresh fruit and then a zing of acidity cleaning things up, giving the tongue a little effervescence-like character. A very good little wine for $15, man, if you like that kind of thing. Excellent example of Torrentes. The Luca Chardonnay from Tupangato up next, and this is Laura Catena behind this label, and one of the best Chardonnays you will find from, well, anywhere under 40 bucks, man. Let me tell you, this wine's got a lot of ripe pear, green apple fruit, lemon citrus, a hint of lightly toasted oak spice, that vanilla and cinnamon, flinty minerally notes, almost Chasson Marche like on the second day gaining intensity, lovely juicy fruit on the tongue with lemon drop candy, Asian pear fruit, that vanilla bean creme brulee note on the finish, really nicely balanced, the tongue tingly minerality on the finish there, excellent juice at $39. All right, the Domingo Fazio La Posta Malbec from Tupangato. We've been carrying this wine for a while. They changed the name up, the, the label up on this wine, and um, well, may have confused some people, but it's the same wine. It's got a lovely smoky character to the nose, kind of burnt campfire wood, blackberry fruit, uh, violet floral notes, some black tea-like spice, a good amount of that dark berry fruit showing on the tongue, ripe round tannins, that spice and floral nuance from the notes showing through the finish, a really fresh and fruity drinkable style Malbec at $15. Great little value you get from these big reds from made from Malbec from Argentina. All right, the La Posta Red, which is uh, Tinto, which means red, um, the red blend here, a blend of Malbec, Syrah, and Bonarda. And this wine's got a good amount of dark berry fruit on the nose, a little bit of a burnt rubber showing up at first, blowing off a little bit. That's from the Bonarda. Some pretty floral notes, a big and spicy wine on the tongue with that lovely dark berry fruit, dark spices, violet floral notes, and a, you know that burnt rubber at the end there. Very good juice at $12. Wow, great little value. Luca Syrah up next, something they do very well in the Uco Valley, 100%. Syrah from a clone brought over by a famous enologist, Laborde. And this one's got a deep and intense bouquet of dark spices, graphite, mineral, dark plum, cherry, smoked meats, and violet floral notes. Big and chewy on the tongue with a nice amount of dark spice, smoked meats, plum, cherry. You know that savage animal at the end? Nice freshness. Big, but has lovely balance. Excellent juice at $28. All right, the Decal Patriata, which is the wine we've had in the store uh, for years now. This is a Malbec and Bonarda blend. Ernesto Quintana is behind this label, 60-40 Malbec Bonarda. Lots of dark berry and plum fruit here, pretty floral notes, black tea spice, wonderful complexity. This wine's bright and tangy, though, on the tongue. It's got that dark fruit, but it has wonderful acidity and brightness and freshness on the finish. Fine tannins, a pleasure to drink now. This wine should age for at least three to five years or more in your cellar. Excellent juice at $24. And then the Tea Cow Malbec Amorio. 100% Malbec, lots of jammy blackberry fruit here, violet floral notes, bitter cocoa, espresso, and more. A big and chewy wine on the tongue with lots of that dark berry fruit. Big but still has balance. Those pretty floral notes through the finish and nice freshness here. Excellent juice, and that's what we had with our friends from Vine Connections. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.